Hey, this is Darren from Ventures Green. Just giving a quick little update, uh, September update. Uh, so the potatoes look like they're done. I think they're pretty small actually, but I'll crack that open fairly soon and just see what they look like. But might be mostly little uh, small potatoes. Over here do have some uh, raspberries that keep coming on these ever bearing raspberries. So I'm just picking like 20 at a time type of thing every week. So not much going, but hopefully they propagate. Got some lettuce, I got some lettuce bolting out there that I'm hoping will uh, go to seed and then I can uh, plant those for maybe in the spring type of thing. So just running out here, I'm just digging up these beds here. Didn't turn out very well. Uh, Should have waited till the weeds came up and then dug them out and then planted, but at least I've got some uh, lettuce going here. There's some kind of a uh, broccoli happening here as well and a couple of cabbages over there so not too much going on and then a bunch of lettuce here a uh, fair number of tomatoes coming in here so that's good you should be able to see the red and a little bit behind that is some uh, kale over there so that's okay and these are carrots coming up that I've interplanted with uh, broccoli as well so you can kind of see those uh, tops on the carrots there so I'm not sure if they're going to turn out or not they're probably pretty small still and might not make it for the season but we'll see and then a few rows of lettuce that I've been harvesting and uh, selling out there I should mention too that I planted that uh, back about a month ago but I didn't realize I needed to water it more than once a day and I'm not prepared to do that so I've just let it dry out there and maybe when the rains come in October, November, December type of thing, maybe those will start to germinate and maybe produce for next year. All right, and then a bit of lettuce coming in that bed as well over there where I did the newspaper trick. Uh, digging up the rest of this. Uh, just to mention here, I wanted to show, I don't think I showed this last time, is the uh, zucchini here. So that seemed to come out pretty good here. Some big ones here. Uh, some people would call that marrow, fairly large, extra large zucchini, which is great for baking. I've been making lots of uh, zucchini bread and zucchini uh, brownies and things like that with it. But yeah, they've gotten fairly large and I've sold some. And uh, using the other ones as well, but kind of each plant has a a couple on it there's another big one there and another uh, fairly large one there so i'm actually harvesting the seeds from them we've got a few hundred seeds out of them as well so that should be good and then the same problem over here i planted this about a month and a half ago but it just didn't germinate properly because i couldn't water it enough so just gonna leave it and we'll see if it comes up in the spring i did try to plant some cucumbers here uh, we'll see if those come up and so now my focus has turned to uh, doing greenhouse work at my house there. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, the cucumbers are bigger in my greenhouse right now. So maybe that's the better plan is to grow them in my greenhouse. I'll bring them out if they get large, but things pretty much stop growing in about a month or so at mid to the end of October type of thing. So, so that's the plan. I should have been transplanting, I guess, into these beds instead of but at least I've got the beds made, I've got the fence done, I've got uh, infrastructure, the storage and the, and the market station there, so that's all good. And I've dug most of the beds. Uh, just gonna probably cover up those weeds at the, during the winter and see what they look like in the spring. So that's kind of the plan, but uh, next edition of this might be in my greenhouse actually showing you what's going on there. Thanks. This is September 2023. You can check it out on VenturesGreen.com.